let, let me start with you, Matt. The uh, you know you played Constantine in live action. Now you're playing him in a cartoon. Like, what what, what was it like to keep keep playing this character? Oh, it was great, man. I mean, just to kind of. Uh metaphorically put the trench coat on again, you know, and get back underneath this character's skin, uh, especially in this context with a lot of different characters that he hasn't interacted with before when I played him, uh, was such a great, uh, fun thing to do. And uh, Jason, you've played Batman a lot in these uh, animated movies. Like, what uh, is this a continuation of the Batman we've seen in, you know, Son of, Son of Batman and the other films you've done? Yeah, absolutely, it's the same universe. So this is the same Batman who has Damien as a son, uh, who has that back history with Talia and um, you know who, who's, who's Robin has become Nightwing and sort of flown the coop flown the cave as it were so so yeah this is the same Batman with all of that sort of family emotional baggage not that we learn too much about more about that in, in this movie this this is more about Batman as a sort of a Justice League leader realizing that the Justice League can't handle this situation then he's gonna to have to get a whole new group of people in uh, to rally around him to try to solve what seems to be an unsolvable mystery uh, well, yeah so you know uh, on you you cross over on the arrow show but Constantine didn't do a ton of stuff with in, in live action with like costumed characters so what was it like playing him surrounded by you know other super beings and guys and gals and capes and costumes uh, yeah, that was one of the great things actually, you know, exploring his relationship with, with Batman and Zatanna and Swamp Thing and, you know, all those great characters that we never got a chance to do on the TV show. I think one of the most fun thing about this movie is, is the relationship between Batman and Constantine and uh, how kind of Constantine's constantly, you know, getting up his nose, you know, and uh, I, that was really good fun for me to do in the booth on my own. You know, me and Jason only just, only just met today, but... Uh, <laughs> But when I watch the movie, I think that we do quite well with each other on the screen as well. And Constantine never stops talking, yeah. and Batman hardly talks at all. So yeah, not like me at all. I'm, I'm, I never talk. They're like the odd couple. <laughs> uh, well, you know, you talk about uh, Batman and Constantine working together. You know, they also both kind of, at least in the comics, have kind of a messy history with Zatanna, who is also a character in the movie. Is that going to be a problem for the characters? Is that coming up? Um, I think what we see with John is a little bit of that emotional history and that emotional baggage between the two of them and, and that does get played out to a certain extent, you know, and, and that was a really interesting thing to kind of to, to, to discover. Um, in terms of the relationship between Batman and Zatanna, I mean, um, well, yeah, it's, 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 it's we, we, we know there's a history, but we don't get too specific about it. No, I think, I think that, you know, what, what Batman has done is kind of, he's, he's seeking out these people who, are, who have great knowledge of the arcane and, and, the, and the magical world to solve this mystery. And that's very much kind of the, the drive of the thing. And, you know, as much as there are all these relationships uh, uh, that are going on underneath, uh, very much the objective is to kind of, is to save the world, you know? Uh, now, so it's called Justice League Dark, so like, how dirty does this one get, or how like, you know, dark or gritty or whatever does it get? And also, does Constantine smoke in this? I'm curious. Oh, uh, interesting. Um, uh, he does not smoke in this, but the, actually the movie is a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. I watched it a couple of days ago and I was quite surprised actually um, how dark it was. And some I think of the language that, is pretty harsh. Yeah, some of the language is pretty harsh and also graphically as well. Some of the things that happen to people are, are, are pretty brutal, you know, and I was like, wow, you know, what, what kind of rating is this going to get? And uh, we, not, Definitely not for the young ones. No, no. But, uh, it's got all those thrills and chills that you, you'd expect to get out of a Justice League dark comic all right, uh, just two more questions um, so you know is there you're you playing Constantine again in this film is there anything any new developments in you play resuming the role in live action anytime soon uh, no there's none at the moment I mean I, I've been fortunate enough that after I, I finished filming on Arrow I've been I've been very busy working on other projects so um, but this is the first time that I've kind of uh, been free since then and I'm taking a little bit of a break and that's been really nice and we'll see, we'll see what the future brings. By the way, people are never going to stop asking you that. I know, they keep on asking me that. <laughs> they still ask me about Terra Nova and that was like five years ago. Oh, I'm like, really? I wish I had like $50 million so I could make another yeah, season, yeah. but I'm just an actor, man, you know? Exactly, it ain't up to us.